Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with part two of my April empties. Um, I have clamshells. I have, uh, what are those things called? Tarts? Cups? I don't know. I can't remember, and some scoopables. And then I also have loaves and larger bakery bags and like mini melters, etc. And I am drinking some coffee in this really cute little mug, my black plastic straw, or whatever this is. And yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. So if you saw my melting basket for the month of April, um, I was, my scents were like candy, um, a little bit of cereal, some like candy, marshmallow, um, lush dupes, like snow fairy, etc., things like that. And then there are a couple other like random type of scents. Oh, and fizzy was another one. There are a couple other random type of scents, um, that came in because they were scents that were just getting old since I wanted to get rid of. Um, and also because this month has been crazy. I think we had like maybe three, two or three like nice days where the sun was actually shining and it was actually warm out. But for the most part, like it was crazy. This month was so cold. And if you can see like right here in my backyard, like um, the leaves haven't even come in yet. Like the trees are still bare. It's ridiculous. Um, because last year at this time, like my Facebook memory came up and there was a video of Dan and Gatsby like playing fetch in the backyard. And what I just showed you was completely green. Like that bush behind our table was green. The trees were green. Like now all I see is like the sticks. Like it looks like winter and it's literally May. I mean, it's it's insane. I need, more, no, tomorrow is May. So like today's the last day of April. Tomorrow is fucking May. It's crazy. Like how, how is it so like still winter? This has been the craziest like season. Um, but of course now that the leaves are starting to come in, the flowers are starting to come in. So are my allergies and that sucks. So to start, I finished Tate. I'm not sure how old this was because I didn't date it, which makes me think it's well over a year, but this still performed fairly well. It was really strong. Um, it was good. I'm just kind of burning myself out on the scent. Maybe it's the sweater weather. I don't know. There was something about this that when it was melting, I was just like, eh, I don't know. So I wouldn't repurchase it right now. I did like love that scent. I think I just burnt myself out on it because I had a lot of Tate. I had the band bag of Tate and Violet. I've had like two clamshells of Violet, three or four clamshells of Tate. So I melted through a lot of that scent and I think I'm just tired of it. Um, Briarcliff, I really like this on cold, Mac Apple shaving cream and sea salt. Unfortunately, I could not smell it. And this is my second one of these. This was a repurchase. And the last time I had this, I finished it in the pool house. So it threw great in the pool house. Like it was so strong in there, but it got lost in the airflow of my main house and it was really unfortunate. Um, and this is a year old, but I only had four cubes left. And the last time I melted it, I got zero. And that was why I just set it aside. And I was like, maybe it needs more of a cure time. And now it's had clearly plenty of cure time and it just didn't do it for me. I even melted this in my closet because literally like if something isn't throwing for me what I've done now and my closet's not super small I mean it's a walk-in but I've taken um, I have a warmer in there tea light warmer and like I'm in there a lot cleaning it because I'm I'm just a mess and like every week there's just piles of clothes on the floor and it drives me crazy so I have to go in there and like reorganize the entire thing um, so when I do that I've been grabbing a scent that hasn't performed anywhere else and like a candle that hasn't performed anywhere else and I'll burn it in my closet because I'm like, if it's not giving me a throw in my closet with the door closed, like I can successfully say it's a dud. Well, I had one cube in a tea light warmer. I tried another cube in an, um, a Glade 20 watt plug-in and I got zero in both, even in my closet with the door closed. So knowing that this, the last clamshell performed fine in my pool house, I think this like clamshell, this like six pack itself was just a complete dud. Um, yeah, because when I had it before it performed and now I put it in my closet and I get zero. So this clamshell itself just was a dud. It's sad, but it was, um, and it turned me off in the scent. So now I wouldn't repurchase, even though like my logical brain knows it did before this just like aggravated me. It was like a waste of money. Like, so I wouldn't repurchase that scent and I'm kind of burning myself out on shaving cream anyway, speaking of, um, this is black sea barber. So black sea and shaving cream. I did not like this at all. This kind of smelled like my dad. 
Oh no, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's like choke you out strong. I literally, as soon as it pulled out in the warmer and like that fragrance hit me and was so strong and so choke you out and so smelled like my dad, I just couldn't, I turned all the warmers off and I was like, absolutely not. Um, but it was strong. I feel like that scent. Uh, purple cotton candy. I actually have this going right now. I just finished this and I'm obsessed. Oh, I love this scent so much. So, so, and this is only what, two months? This was not like as long as I usually cure southbound and it did amazing. I just did one cube per warmer and I was doing two cubes per two warmers per room, but right now I only had one cube left and I put it on in the largest room in my house and it's kicking ass in there. So I'm a big fan of southbound's clamshells. I wasn't at first cause I was like, oh, clamshells. And they do smell kind of like armpit. They really do. Um, there's a funky plastic smell and I can only compare it to Stank armpit and BO. Oh, it's so bad. It's like a cross between skunk and armpit. Like when I smell this now, it's awful. But when you take the wax out, you can't smell it. And obviously I didn't rebag it. I just popped a cube out from here and that stank scent is only in the plastic. It does not translate to the wax. Um, maybe because I haven't had much of a cure time is why. Maybe if you cure it longer, it will leach on. I'm really not sure. Um, I suppose you could rebag it. I just didn't have the patience to go through that. And like these labels don't come off easily. So if I were to rebag it, like I'm not like cutting through the plastic. Like just, it was too much work. I, like a girl does not have time, but it's amazing. It threw really well. The scent was phenomenal. It was great. So, um, last few clamshells here. I felt, well, I finished two of these. You can tell I really like the scent. I have two more backup clamshells and I also have an entire bakery bag of this. So I am good for a while with purple cotton candy. It's a great, great springtime scent. I just love grape in the springtime. I also finished grape soda, which I melted a long time, purple cotton candy. Purple cotton candy is very creamy. It's a creamy, like marshmallow, cause it's cotton candy and vanilla ice cream with the grape popsicles. So this is more like a sweet, creamy, like, just a creamy grape scent and this is a fizzy grape scent like it literally smells exactly like a crushed grape soda or fanta grape soda oh it's so good but it's stronger on the grape than the fizzy which is amazing and i would totally repurchase this it wasn't as strong as i would have liked it to be but this is really old